All right, guys, another match with good old uh, Thing and Ice Tempo. Um, I'm going to keep this, though it's pretty high risk. I mean, getting misstepped is kind of um, a big problem. Well, that makes it much worse. Uh, things are not looking up here. Okay, hate bears. And um, I'm cycling through my deck as much as possible. I, I'm not really interested in doing anything but finding a land or getting closer to a land. Here comes the wasteland. Or not. And the rod is it's kind of annoying, but not a big deal. And we're definitely going to hold this until we have, you know, another uh, lane to put in place so we can put in thing in ice. Definitely going to ditch, dig through time here. Uh, okay. This deck is meant to go on on, on pretty uh, a pretty land light. Okay, so we're gonna force this with gush, I believe. Actually, let's just make it misstep. I think the gush is just gonna be too important for us right now. Oh wow, do I have mismatch islands in this deck? That's embarrassing. So we assume he's gonna go after my, my mana here. Lots of stuff. So we're going to force that Lotus if it comes to that. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this. Oh, never mind. We're, we're not going to force the Lotus because he has a Null Rod in play. Ridiculous. Do I crack this? I think I do actually. I'm gonna go ahead and get a volcanic.
I actually want a Polluted Delta. Now our opponent's on a two turn clock. Don't know what he could actually, I mean, he has to have a, a white source to even deal with the thing in ice. All right. So things that we're going to incorporate here. Things I don't like. I don't like Dak Faden. Pyroblast has got to go. Flusterstorm is also problematic here. I think that pretty well sets us up. And we'll add a land and then we'll ditch one force, something like that. Actually, let's cut a misstep. Okay. Uh, so this hand is so borderline. Uh, a null rod, null rod gets me. Yeah, I've got him all in that. Okay. I'm going to keep this. That was also quite bad. Um, really just need a blue source. I mean, if he's got to follow up to this, I'm in, I'm in big, big, big trouble. Yeah. Chalice fruit. What? That's so bad. Okay, this is an example of a card that should not be in the deck right now. Um, he's probably got just as many zero casting costs I do. Yeah. So now I'm just going to die to Thalia if I don't draw another land soon. So I could just play Thing and Ice and set up like that. But I have to bolt. I have to bolt Thalia before anything else happens. Provoker naming. Hmm. So I think what I'm going to do. Is 
nothing nice here. Wait, he's got his swords. Um, so I can actually time walk hoping to hit a land, which I think is what I have to do. I like recall. Uh, Preordain's gotta go to the bottom. I think I have to keep recall. It's just too good against him. Mary is fine. So I can take four. Hope to hit another land. Yeah, I, I have to play thick nice here. Because with Chalice on zero, okay. Maybe I, I, I spoke preemptively here. So he'll swords this, we assume. Yeah. Hit me for four. You know, maybe I should have forced that. Yeah, that's probably exactly what I should have done. So I could brainstorm, but I think I like uh, gushing just, just a hair better here. I'm actually going to pay mana for this probe. Okay, so that sets us up for a nice little thing, a nice turn. Cavern set on Pegasus. So, not like super worried about it. So this time we'll we'll force pitching brainstorm.
so let's see, I can evoke Ingature, blowing up the Chalice, which is definitely what I'm gonna do. Go all the way down to two here. So I can crack this for three red, which is what I'm gonna do. Hmm. This guy is, uh, he's a legit problem for a lot of these decks. So he's got a path. I'm sorry, I keep saying path. Swords to, swords to plowshares is what he's got. This thing is just a monster in terms of netting damage. Is he gonna unrenown my So we're hoping to set off Thing and Ice um, whenever he goes for the Displacer. Well, I think Mental Misstep, we'll get rid of Mental Misstep and Island, yeah. Or just Mental Misstep. Probably should have been a Tundra there. So he'll play replay the Displays, or at least that's what we assume. Ooh. Am I getting reality smashers? 
Yeah, geez, friend. Okay. Well, I think this is all fine again. Um, maybe one more ingot sure, one less middle misstep. It's probably where we want to be. Reality Smasher. Did not see that coming. Okay, this is a, a definitely a good opener, so we'll keep this. What I would definitely like is some removal, though. So that's kind of what we're going to be out on the hunt for. We're going to go ahead and pre in here. Guys, you're killing me a little bit here. All stuff I can deal with if I have a plans. Just need a wide source quite badly. So this will be Thalia. I assume he'll lead off with Thorn after this. Orthonauts here would also be acceptable on his part. So if he doesn't have another land, he should play Thorn. I think that's pretty obvious. So this will be Mr. Thought Not, I would assume now. Unless he has a reality smasher, right? Bryn Wingmare? Thorn. Okay. Into Thought Nuts here. That is a good turn. So he'll take his swords. At least that's what we assume. Okay, so I'm 
going to go ahead and flash back good old uh, probe here. Deal myself a little damage, but now I can present the double block if I need to. Never mind. I forgot about the usability. So that was sweet. Come on, white mana. So the question is, if I get white mana, what do I do with it? Happily double block here. Is this going to be another Thanos here? And he'll name the Mox, which is fine. And this will take... I assume this will take Ingature. Time walk certainly a consideration here. I could take the other swords, I guess. Yeah. Oh. So I'm very dead. My opportunity to draw anything live has gone, and that's pretty rough. Actually, you can make an argument here that he shouldn't have played the Displacer. Yeah, like that's a lot better. Um, because he's he's still you know somewhat exposed here and yeah we got this but my point is is he doesn't actually add anything by playing the displacer and if I have something kind of strange like um you know if I go if I go uh, mountain bolt bolt he doesn't gain anything because he doesn't have that activation up uh, whereas the cannonist stops me from doing that so that sequence makes sense then. Uh, However, I, I think I, I would have preferred if he left off, let off with the cannons. Anyway, so no white mana means we lose. Yay.